Hello, Klaus here, and welcome back to yet another video here at the channel. In today's video, we are going to look at a new pack from Motion VFX, and this is a free one they just released. It is the M Hello 3D pack, and it is a small little pack with some free tools. And in this video, of course, we are going to have a look at that pack, what you can do with the pack, and maybe you should just go and get it after this video. That's what we're going to talk about. And if you are interested in learning more about Motion VFX plugin, I did do a playlist here with different reviews of different plugins. And there is also a link down in the description below if you want to get a discount of some of the packs and all of that good stuff. So without further ado, let's just jump into DaVinci Resolve and have a look at the new pack from Motion VFX. Okay, so let's have a look at the pack from Motion VFX. So first up, we'll go up to our toolbox and in our toolbox, we'll go under title because that is where our pack is, the mhello 3D pack, which is right here. And the pack consists on different things like add-ons, backgrounds, and typography. So let's have a look at these things. So for instance, the add-ons are stuff like this, like 3D models like this one. Um, we can have a look here. We have this 3D model moving around and we can use this for different things. So we can go over to the inspector under the content control and we can change the position, the scale and the rotation of everything like we would like this. And of course we could uh, go in and in the elements control and change the color and the also the rotation of the 3D we can change here, whatever we want. And also we can do a 3D scale, stuff like that. Pretty cool. And also we have light controls here. We can change that around however we want it. So that's pretty cool. Actually, I'll just show you an example using this one here. Like that. And um, there's also different ones. Of course, there's a, a subscribe button and a YouTube 3D thing. But for this, we are going to use this clip here with the girl and I have this spinning thing here. And I'm going to go into the content controls and I'm going to um, change the position of it. I'm also going to scale it up, making it a little more bigger and um, I'm going to place it around here, I think would be cool. Let's see. So we have this thing going in frame and out. That's what we have. I'm just going to duplicate the clip with the dancing woman here, and I'm going to put that on top of everything. I'll jump into the color page, and in the color page, I'm going to select my top clip, which is this one here, and I'm just going to do a magic mask on her. And I know that uh, the magic mask is only available in the studio version, so if you have to do this effect, you would have to do some masking and that could be kind of time consuming. So let's just see our selection here. I'm going to change this into better as well. And I'm just quickly going to track this little clip here. Looks like it's doing a decent track, I think. So with the tracking all done right now, we're going to Go over here and right click and going to add an alpha out. I'm just going to connect this together here and jump into the edit page. And this is what we have now. So we have this effect, this going around her, behind her, something like that. Pretty fast way of doing that effect. We also have some backgrounds. In this case, this is like a, some cel cylinders. So we can see it's moving. There's two of these backgrounds, which can be used for, for instance, text and stuff like that. Also, we have the typography and let's just see, there's three of them. Let's take this one, make it pop. So we have one here, which is kind of cool. However, let's just uh, add something so we can actually see what we are doing. Just going to add in a generator, a solid color here. And I'm going to change the color into uh, this yellowish color I usually use. So now we have this. There we go. So if we select the title, we can go into the content controls again and move everything around, scale it, rotate. We have some title controls where we can change the font, the color, all of that stuff. 
Then we have the subtitle controls, and that is the with 3D elements. Um, again, change stuff around there. We're going to the drop shadow, because I think that is the most interesting one. So I'm going to click right here to add the shadow, and then I can actually control the shadow strength. I can change the drop angle. I can change the distance. And, you know, I can blur it, whatever I like. I think this looks pretty cool. So you can then toggle it off and see what it actually does. So pretty cool, very fast. And then of course we could change the blur settings as well. And if we are doing this video in 4K, we could just click right here to add 4K quality. So that's a very fast way of making cool small titles. Anyway, that's more or less what's in this free pack from Motion VFX. If you're interested, go down in the description below. There will be a link to all of the other packs and also for this one. And just go get the free one. And if you want to have some of the paid ones, please use my link if you are going to buy any of the packs. Because I'm going to get a little bit of a kickback and it's helping out the channel. And I can continue to make more content like this. Anyway, I do hope you found this little video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button. Give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it would help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there's another video here at the channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning, and keep sharing.